seatbelt on correctly. You can't see if she has it on or off. Of what? Do you have your seatbelt on? It's on. In this video, we're going to teach you something about seatbelt tickets you may not know. So stick around. You might be able to beat your next ticket if you do. Oh. Does she have an ID? Original video comes to you by way of Michelle's mobile media. Her links will be provided for you as always in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get right back to it. I uh, know. No. Can you roll the window down and then you see your license registration ID? Yeah. You too. And it turns Correctly worn. Got to be over your, uh, over your shoulder. Right? Mm, not quite. Hmm. I thought it said click it or ticket. it. you have your insurance for the vehicle, sir? You can, but I mean, you do have your seatbelt on. I won't be giving you anything. I have a doctor's note. I won't be giving you anything. I don't think so. Where's your office at? My office? Yeah. One Killingsworth Drive, Felicity, California. And what's it called? One Killingsworth Drive, Felicity, California. Calexi? Felicity. Felicity. Okay. Yes, in certain situations, you can get a doctor's note excusing you from wearing a seatbelt if you have a verified medical condition that prevents you from safely using one. Though this is very rare and should only be considered with serious medical concerns, always check with your local laws regarding seatbelt exemptions and consult with a healthcare professional before relying on a doctor's note for this purpose. There are key points to remember here. For a medical necessity, a doctor will only provide a note if they believe your medical condition genuinely prevents you from wearing a seatbelt safely specific conditions. Examples of conditions that might warrant a seatbelt exemption could include several spinal injuries, certain pregnancy complications, or extreme physical limitations that prevent proper seatbelt placement. Legal requirements. Even with the doctor's note, you may need to follow specific procedures to be legally exempt from wearing a seatbelt, such as notifying the Department of Motor Vehicles. My concern is this. Because of HIPAA laws, can a cop actually demand that you show a doctor's note? Once the HIPAA laws changed, shouldn't that law have changed as well? Felicity. Felicity. Okay. Population two. Population <laughs> two. Yes, yeah. California, you gotta wear the seatbelt over your shoulder as you're fine. Um, yeah. I have a doctor's note though. Can you provide me from with the, the judge? Mm. Maybe. Go ahead and keep that on. Make there. sure that's the new card. Thank you. And the ma'am, I need your ID as well. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's good. In California, your first seatbelt ticket is $20, and every subsequent ticket after that is $50. No jail time required. You don't want to ignore the fine if you get one because they'll turn it into a secondary offense of failure to appear. Then jail time can be imposed. Thank you so much, Rob. And what's your name? I'm Officer Hilficker. Hilficker? Yes, and what's your badge number? 20054. Officer Morquecho, ID 23748. Morquecho? Yes, ma'am. I think it was the file with the house. Yeah, I think it's in the other purse, actually. You know, when I when I was looking up that, I, I don't remember it ever saying, click it over your shoulder. I remember it saying, click it or tick it. That'd be Warren as designed. According to who? No, it's in the other purse. You have your ID? Of course. I don't think you are... Uh, I don't huh? prevalent to it. I didn't hear. I don't think he's prevalent to it. Yeah, I don't think. Right, let me see here. I believe I see it right there, right where you zipped it up. Right by your thumb. That's, That's uh, not it. Okay. I would have gotten it if that was it. Yep, that one is in the other one too. Uh, what do you want me to do, Chris? I'll have yours. Well, I already gave him mine. I'm just going to have to give you my name. Is that somebody else's ID? That's my ID. Who's your name, ma'am? Michelle. Michelle, can you spell that for me? M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. 
you have a middle name or is that your full name? R. I'm sorry? R. R. Can you spell that for me? R. The letter, the R. letter R. Yes. Is your middle name? It's not an initial? It's an initial. Yeah, you don't need the whole thing. On my license, it, it says Michelle R. Okay, what's your date of birth? What's your address? That's all you're entitled to. All my information is on that ID. Do you still live there? All my information is on that ID. And we don't answer any other questions. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. They're going to want to see your, your driver, your other ID that's in my purse. Oh, it's the exact same as the one that's in there. I know. I don't know why they sent you two. Yeah, really? Here comes the dude. Catch you. No, that's good enough. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right, so today, we're going to be asking for the experience of the truck. So we're going to be asking for the idea of making the design to get a lot of the time to get a lot of the time. It's not a mission of guilt by you finding a truck thing to build these This one's mine. Uh, inside the box that was signed. Another thing you might want to think about is traffic school. It isn't necessary to go to traffic school considering seatbelt violations don't carry any points, so it's not reported to your insurance provider. You can go, but it would just be a waste of time and money. You're better off taking your girl or fella on a lunch date. One thing to keep in mind, though, is every state is different. This right here is specifically for California. Okay, don't be a tyrant, though, okay? It looked like it said it should go over the seat, the shoulder. Must go over the chest, but it should go over the shoulder, correct? Should. That's all right, because I, I got that letter. I don't answer questions, really. Who's the officer standing back there? Gutierrez? Okay. He's a good driver. All right, folks, and here are my final thoughts along with some tips on how to beat a seatbelt ticket. Keep in mind that this is only for California. Seatbelt laws vary from state to state. In New York, the fine is $50, and you can get up to three points on your driving record. They really don't want people driving in New York, so they take away your rights vehemently. There are three common defenses for violating California's mandatory seatbelt laws. These are, one, there was an emergency that prevented you from wearing a seatbelt. Two, you cannot wear a safety belt because of a medical condition. If you have medical reasons, you should carry a doctor's note. Three, a law enforcement officer issued a seatbelt citation without any probable cause to stop your vehicle. That one right there, folks, is what got me on this one. Please note that California courts have ruled that a police officer cannot give a seatbelt ticket 
ticket to you if the officer has no other reason to stop your vehicle. You can only receive a ticket for no seatbelt if the officer lawfully stops your vehicle for some other reason and then notices that you are not wearing a seatbelt. Any legal defense you raise will require supporting evidence. The best evidence typically includes a witness, photographs, or surveillance video. I really do hope that at least one person out there benefits from this video. If it does, then it serves its purpose. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell. We're going to be giving you more tips on how to beat the system when the system is against you. Also make sure to check out Michelle's mobile media channel. She gets out there and records whenever possible. She can definitely use your support like myself and all the other auditing cop watching channels. I want to thank all of you in advance. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Peace.